North Texas 31 and UTEP 13. And pulling up the stats here on this one, uh, watch this one all the way through. The Sun Bowl, it didn't look sold out, but it looked full. It was a full celebration of the 915. It was a good time for everybody that went, it appeared. And in that first half, it was 14 to 13 North Texas at the half. And it was jumping. They were having themselves a time great. Hardison was slinging that thing. I mean, it it looked good in the first half. Uh, Some of the notes I wrote down here. So Gavin Hardison, 13 out of 26 in the first half for 206 yards and one touchdown. And most of the receiving yards, I want to say it was 190 plus, went to those two receivers that uh, I think it was Foster and... Here, you know what? I can pull this up and take a look uh, before we actually jump into the thing. Uh, No, Flores and Smith. So, Ronaldo Flores and Tyron Smith here. They had themselves a first half. They really did. 190-plus yards in that first half. Uh, But Gavin Hardison in the second half, 8 out of 22 for 87 yards. Like, just could not get it going. Once Phil Bennett's defense figured them out in the second half, that was all she wrote. Because North Texas was able to put up just enough points. Uh, Jake the Snake Roberts, <laughs> the tight end for him, uh, came in and, and played really, really well. Austin On was serviceable. He did lean on the tight end a little bit. Uh, the tight end led in receptions here. Uh, did have a touchdown as well. Um, but that just just the, uh, the points that they scored, 31 points, that was plenty good enough for Phil Bennett's defense to be able to put the clamps down on UTEP. Uh, that was the biggest thing, and we're going to pull up these uh, stats here. But the biggest thing was, in the offseason, how how much was Jacob Cowing worth? Uh, how, how much were the other guys worth that they lost? Uh, Jacob Cowing was a top 10 uh, predicted points added player. Like, he was insanely valuable. He's one of those guys that Hardison could just throw the ball up, and he would make something happen out of it. And that was kind of what their offense was for a large part of last season. This go round, uh, yeah, you, you can kind of see they had trouble finishing drives for sure. Uh, let's talk about the things that UTEP was, you know, had the advantage in, and that would be yards per play, seven point four three to only six point eight. Again, only six point eight. It used to be that these things were like four yards per play, but regardless, uh, but only three hundred ninety four total yards. They both both teams had a turnover. Only thirty eight percent, thirty nine percent on third down. Uh, fourth down, they were only two out of six on that. They went for it six times on fourth down. Uh, they did have seven scoring opportunities and only got 1.86 points per scoring opportunity. No defensive touchdowns, etc. for either team. Both teams started drives or averaged starting drives on their own 23 here. Uh, but UTEP, just tons of missed opportunities. They got the ball down there multiple times in scoring position and came away with very few points tried field goals, etc. It was just rough. Just rough. I had North Texas at a pick em. Uh Line closed at one and a half. So, you know, either way, North Texas, I thought, would be the significantly better team. And they were. Uh, at the end of the day, they were the more competent team. They made less mistakes, etc., which to me means that they are the better overall team. But man, this was, uh, this was rough. As far as the most important plays, um, yeah, let's see. Da, 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 da. Second quarter, uh, oh yeah, the fumble uh, that was recovered by uh, UTEP's uh, defensive end, uh, that was a big one. Uh, I mean, there's just there's a there's several several big plays. The pass complete to Tommy Bush for seven yards for a touchdown in the third quarter. There was a touchdown thrown on like a little wheel route. It was a little uh, bootleg, it looked like, where it looked like everybody on the team was already at least three to five yards down the field, and I don't know how they didn't throw a flag for an eligible receiver downfield or lineman downfield or anything like that, uh, but they gave him the touchdown, for sure. Uh, once, I mean, all you needed was a few scores, and Phil Bennett's defense was going to be pretty good in this situation, but it's a good start for North Texas. It is definitely a good start for North Texas uh, because they, I mean, they were rolling at the end of last season. UTEP has got to figure out a few things. And 
You got to figure out the field goal kicking stuff. You got to just a lot of question marks around UTEP. Defense was still okay, just not great. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.